to uh, welcome to the show Mo Teya, the COO of Medical Chain. Thanks for Thank being you. here, Mo. Thank you for having us. Pleasure. Um, so, uh, Medical Chain is, uh, is, is quite an interesting project. Um, you guys are tackling an area that is, many would say, in much need of uh, innovation, um, really helping out the NHS in a lot of ways, right? Can you give us just a kind of high-level you know, overview of, of what Medical Chain is, is aiming to do? Sure, Adam. So, Medical Chain is a, a blockchain platform for the storage and utilisation of electronic health records. Um, we're also adding on that the uh, various applications, uh, which are the utility functions of the uh, health record. And the first application we're starting with is a telemedicine application. Mm -hmm. So electronic health records already exist, you know, far and wide and, uh, you know, in, in most uh, European and North American uh, hospitals you'll find uh, electronic health records exist. However, there are many problems with the data storage, the security, um, and, and really mainly the accessibility of it. So um, if you, you know, nowadays we are a nation of expats and everybody travels a lot. And mm -hmm. when you travel, you take on your phone with you your um, calendar and emails and um, access to your photos and music uh, and your online banking. But uh, your health record, which is potentially something quite life-saving, yeah. um, tends to stay with the last doctor that you saw. Mm -hmm. And so with Medical Chain, we are providing access to your health record, which is mm -hmm. stored on a blockchain. It's a, an international network of um, node verifiers. That it's a, it's a blockchain network that's run using the Hyperledger blockchain. Mm -hmm. And uh, it allows you to access your health record and share it with a doctor of your choice and have that doctor add information to it about any consultation or surgery or any anything you may have done, mm -hmm. you've had done. Great. So, I mean, really, uh, what you guys are, are doing is, is using, you know, blockchain and uh, the invention of Bitcoin to make um, medical records safer as opposed to what we've seen recently, which is the hijacking of medical records, presumably because they've been stored on a, on a centralized exchange, right? Yeah, on centralized uh, storage. Mm -hmm. So earlier this Sorry. year, we had the uh, WannaCry attack which affected, you know, um, I think hundreds of hospitals around the world. And um, our CEO, Dr. Bayati, uh, he, he's a doctor in the NHS, and he had to turn patients away uh, on, on those days when uh -huh. the WannaCry attack was happening because they could not access their health records, so they could not see them for consultations. Some were right. awaiting surgery. They couldn't uh, get their surgery done because their um, health records were locked away. I mean, so uh, hopefully when, when you have these health records you know, owned by you, mm -hmm. you're in much more control over it. Mm -hmm. So what will the medical chain service look like? Will there be an app for, for the phone? Will it be online, desktop, and That's right. Phone? It, it'll be a combination of, of all. So mm -hmm. there will be apps on, on um, Android, iPhone, um, and you'll have them uh, on desktop as well. So as a patient, uh, you've got access to your health record uh, through an app and you can grant access to a doctor or any healthcare professional of your choice, mm -hmm. and that access is on a time-limited basis. Mm -hmm. So if you're no longer getting consultation by a doctor, that doctor, in theory, shouldn't have access to your health record, so you can revoke that access. Great. Uh, the doctor who's treating you uh, might want to access your health record on a bigger screen, so they'll be using a desktop application, mm -hmm. and they can communicate with you through the uh, interface of medical chain. Mm -hmm. So this is really aiming to kind of um, reduce the need for people to actually go to a hospital. Potentially, you know, we could have a, we could see a lot more people as we're already starting to see with with you know a few other apps uh, being kind of having consultations from home and, That's and right. being treated from home That's remotely. Right. So so telemedicine itself is currently a twenty eight billion dollar industry, mm -hmm. and about fifty percent of that is North America. 25% is in Europe. So it's already a, um, a large industry and it's growing. The problem with telemedicine right now is your health record doesn't exist on the applications that are available. Mm -hmm. So you can sign up to a number of providers right now and speak to the doctor online and, and pay them a fee, but you have to self-declare all your history. Right. And that's not efficient because you might not remember everything mm -hmm. and um, the doctor then might not have the correct diagnosis for you. Yep. So the difference with our application is on medical chain, your health record is there and you've got a telemedicine application, you can connect to a doctor and that doctor can see your health records while they're speaking with you. 
Fantastic. Um, and so you guys are doing an ICO. Um, so <clears throat> you're issuing a coin, which is the Met coin. It's correct? the Med token. Med token. Yep. Sorry. So the Med token is going to be used, you know, within yep. um, the the app and the platform. So can you explain kind of how that works? You know, what what is this this token's sure. utility? So the Med token is a utility for uh, transfer of value and, and services on the platform, and there are um, certain transactions that are taking place on the platform, and they will be done using the Med token. Okay. So uh, the first thing is uh, connecting to a doctor and speaking with them, uh, getting a consultation. That will be uh, one of the util utilities of the uh, token. Uh, another function in future, we plan to, after having a mass uh, or a critical mass of uh, health records there, uh, we will start introdu introducing a marketplace for health records to pharma companies who want to contact mm -hmm. uh, patients for clinical trials, and they will be paid for um, providing access to their health record using med tokens as well. Mm -hmm. Furthermore, uh, we are uh, providing an SDK for app developers in the next six months, and that SDK will allow uh, many bright and you know really amazing apps out there right now to connect to the medical chain platform and be and provide apps to people who've got their health record on the platform, so they can not only uh, you know just have their health record there, but also have a dashboard that will be mm -hmm. updated in real time. Uh, with 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 some useful information about the health record, and obviously, you know, there are mm -hmm. transactions have to take place, and, and they will also be using mm -hmm. med tokens. That sounds great. So not only can people gain more control over their medical records, but they can also actually, uh, you know, kind of earn by um, providing them to to other people and, and for research. Right. And yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the primary goal here is. We believe your medical record shouldn't be something that you just access when you're ill. Mm -hmm. It should be something that you always refer to. Mm -hmm. And uh, one thing to uh, bear in mind is there are many people who've got uh, smart wearable devices like an Apple Watch or, or an Android Wear device or a Fitbit that's always collecting data about you. But th mm -hmm. that data is normally stored in silos. Mm -hmm. So what we want to do is have that data also put in your health record. Right. So when you go to see a doctor next time, they have a dashboard of what you've been up to, mm. not just uh, the last blood test that, or x-ray yeah. they may have had. Yeah, yeah. I don't even think most people know that the medical records are available. You know, they, they probably just think that the doctor has it. Yeah, um, well, you'd be surprised about how, <laughs> you know, uh, this past it is. Yeah, yeah, that's great. So you've been traveling around the world, you yeah. know, promoting, talking to people about medical chain. What, what's the reaction been like? And it's been, you know, really humbling and yeah. really amazing to see um, how much need there is for this kind of uh, a utility and uh, we are uh, doing well right now in Asia so uh, you know in, in Asia particularly in countries like Japan yeah. there is an aging population uh, it's you know Japan's got probably the uh, biggest aging population in the world mm -hmm. and they also have the highest life expectancy in the world so they really care about uh, medical innovation and mm. uh, accessibility to their medical data. So in, in places like that, it's been really nice to see the reaction to uh, a service like Medical Chain uh, to come to market. And uh, we've also been in, in the US where we're talking to many potential partners in the US and uh, we've signed quite a few uh, MOUs and NDAs with them to to get them to use a platform. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, we recognize wherever you go, there is a massive need for this. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I've traveled to about uh, almost 15 countries in the last eight weeks wow. uh, on, on the roadshow. And, and we continue to have, you know, we have a fully booked sh schedule for the next three months. Wow. So uh, we are continuously going back to visit and, and have more mm -hmm. uh, meetups and more conversations. Yeah. Because ultimately what we want to do is is not just promote the ICO, but we're, we're really trying to promote to doctors and other healthcare professionals mm -hmm. to come and use the platform. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, and you've been working with uh, some advisors from the blockchain space, right? Correct. I understand yeah. you're working yeah. with Coincilium, so they've been uh, putting you in touch with guys within the blockchain space and, and kind of helping you out, taking you to various different events and, and things yeah, like that, right? absolutely. Uh, it's very important to have uh, a good team and the right advisors on board. So uh, we have worked with Coincidium now for some time. We, we've been to, as you said, we, we've been to quite a few events and, and uh, meetups with them. They've also made some very useful introductions to us in the, in the blockchain space and have guided us towards 
the uh, the you know the utilization of the token. Yeah. Uh, you know, blockchain is a new space, and nobody can pretend to know everything. Yeah. So it's it's very important to work with uh, some very smart people who've got some you know experience and have been there and done the things you're trying to do. Sure. So okay, just finally, the uh, token sale itself. Yeah. Um, what what are the dates for that if people want to buy sure. Med token? So, so uh, currently we're in December, we're doing our pre-sale. Yeah. That will run into January. Mm -hmm. And um, at the beginning of February we'll have our ICO. So, um, you know, if, if anyone wants to participate in the uh, pre-sale, they can go to our website and join the whitelist. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, the ICO will be in uh, February. And uh, we hope to be listed on an exchange uh, at the beginning of March. Okay, fantastic. So you heard it here first, guys. Beginning of February, get your med tokens. Mo, thank you very much for thank joining you. us. Thank it's been you a pleasure. Much. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.